Many are still in shock after hearing that the founder of one of Nigeria's biggest and successful churches, the Synagogue Church of All Nations, SCOAN, passed away on Saturday, June 5, 2021, after an evening church service. Pastor Timitokwe Balogun Joshua, popularly known as TB Joshua, was planning and looking forward to his 58th birthday on June 12, before being called to the other side. According to reports, the prophet, who has been fit and healthy most of his life in April of 2021, suffered from a stroke and was flown in an air ambulance to receive treatment in a hospital in Turkey. When he felt better, he quickly came back to Nigeria and carried on with his activities. Fast forward to June 5, 2021, he sat down to have a rest and passed away. Just like that. Many were confused and shocked, especially as there were no recent reports of illness. His wife, Evelyn, has finally spoken out, recounting the incident that led to his death. Hello guys, it's Tico here for African Glitz. Evelyn Joshua, the wife of Prophet TB Joshua of over 30 years, braved a broken heart and has revealed to the public the incident leading up to his death. She said that her husband, the founder of Synagogue Church of All Nation, SCOAN, ended his race prayerfully. She revealed that a televangelist spent about three hours in prayer before the last service on the mountain and appeared to be very healthy. She added that he never showed any sign of illness or worry and that his main concern was about the prayer line they offered to Indians against the COVID-19 pandemic. She said, Afterward, he came up to shower and I left him to have some time of prayer for service as worship had started. Few minutes later, he stepped out for ministration. While ministering, he spoke about a time to come and time to leave. His statements were spiritual and suddenly, he left the stage and went to his inner chambers. I waited a few minutes and thereafter decided to check on him. I met him sitting on the chair like someone reflecting but unconscious. I quickly beckoned on his disciples who came and tried to revive him to no avail. Of a truth, he went home to be with the Lord and left us with a message, watch and pray. She added, Evelyn first broke a silence on Twitter early Sunday, June 6, mourning her husband, she wrote, Losing a loved one is never easy, whether sudden or foreseen. It is always heartbreaking. Grief can wreck havoc on our overall well-being. That's why it's important to stay rooted to the Almighty. Only He can lessen our heartache and comfort us in these times. Seek refuge in Him. This was when many began to believe the story that the 57-year-old man of God was truly gone. Despite a private family life, Prophet T.B. Joshua and Evelyn have three beautiful daughters who are all grown successful women today. However, as many are not sure if he has a biological son, during an interview, T.B. Joshua revealed that he has only three daughters and he would love them to be like him. He said, I have a wife and I have children. My first daughter is doing a PhD and my second daughter is doing a master's degree. In all, I have three daughters. The last one is still in secondary school. I would have loved my wife to be like me, but I cannot make her what I am. It is God. I can't anoint her. God is the one that anoints people. And not those who quit. Victory is not for those who run away. But for those who persevere to the end. Those who fight to the end. Apart from his wife giving an account of how they shockingly found him dead without saying goodbye, his daughters, as of June 7th, haven't made public how they feel. Like many who have come to love the generous man of God, his church members were very heartbroken. Some went straight to the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Lagos to shed tears of sorrow. Joshua, he don't serve many souls. He don't turn prostitutes into God. Turn all sorts of manner, all people. If you don't judge nobody before, even if you take for a test, you accuse them, you're not going to tell no word. Take Joshua, a man of God, as I know. Even though many times I don't fight for enter for the church, but as I see I'm not God is in us. May so rest in perfectness. Condolences messages showered from across the globe to his family by those who knew him and those whose life were touched by him. It's a glorious exit. It's a glorious sleeping in the Lord. Huh? What do you think about how the popular man of God passed on? Are you surprised that he doesn't have any male children? Do you think one of his daughters will take over from where he left? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, 
Don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you would like. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time we upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.